Well hello everyone, Phil here, Rural Royals in Penzance. Um, I'm not very good at videos, but I thought I'd make a video because um, I get a lot of people asking me. Um, I, I get a lot of things said to me, so when I sell some snakes, I get the, oh, I wish I had the money for that, or how did you produce that, or um, where can I get one of those? So I'll give you a little bit of information of how we started off. So we we really liked a lot of jeans. Um, we like we liked a lot of combos, and we weren't in a position where we could buy them. So what we did, we we bought we bought single jeans because when we were starting off, we I won't say we didn't know what we was doing because I've had snakes for over twenty years, but um, we we were kind of new to the hobby, if you like. I'd had snakes as pets, but. Um, we were kind of new to the hobby. Sorry, I keep drinking because I just had the hottest coffee in the world. Um, so what we did is we we started off with a base morph. So um, we had a few normals, we had a few pastels, we had um, lessers, we had stuff like that. So we basically we bred them together to get our two gene animals. And then through um, through progression, we managed to sell our two gene animals, keep a couple of holdbacks, and then breed them together to produce um, three or four gene animals. So that's that's what we did. Um, when it comes to things like the pies, the pies that we've got, I mean, we've got some we've got some really nice pies now. So this girl here, she was produced by us, believe it or not she's only three years old and she's two and a half kilos, maybe more. Um, so it, to get to get pied and stuff like that, where there were recessive genes, we got the hets and bred the hets together to get a visual and then we passed on the hets. Um, Currently, we are working with the clown gene, or we're trying to produce a clown, a visual clown. So I've, I've got what we've got in our collection, just an example. We've got a pastel um, double head clown pied and a super pastel double head clown pied. So they've, and we've got a, a single gene um, head clown. So we're pairing our male with them to to try and produce a visual clown. Once we produce the visual clown, then possibly the heads will go to someone else. Um, not always the case, but there we go. So we started off, like I say, in a nutshell, we started off with single gene animals, bred them together to get two gene animals, and then um, went from there really. Sometimes we've managed to trade, we've been quite lucky to trade. So for example, um, a few years ago, I produced a clutch of queen bees and killer bees um, from our bumblebee female and I swapped a clutch of six for a bamboo mystic. So yeah, that was that was quite a good deal because at the time the bamboo mystics were a very new thing. Um, last year I produced three and they, they dropped in price massively. Not that that really matters because I'm not really in it for that anyway. But um, yeah, so I don't know if that was very clear, but that's how we started. We started with the single jeans and then um, if if we had a little bit of money we bought a double jean but we we generally put things together to get the double jeans and then did the same again to get the triple jeans um, four jeans and just went from there really it's a long process but it is what it is okay thank you goodbye